so uh, this is going to be Capricorn Sun Moon and as well rising a weekly love and relationship Tsar reading December 30th to January 5th 2019 and uh, couple of seconds here to shuffle the tarot cards guys and in case you do want um, to get in touch with me for a, a private reading you can check out the link uh, the description down below excuse me where you're gonna find a, a link to my website and from there you know you can schedule a reading get in touch with me or whatever so that being said uh, the first card which stands as a theme and topic of your Capricorn uh, relationship and love week. That is going to be the Three of Wands. Followed by the next one here, which represents the um, energies which are supporting the topic itself. We do have the Eight of Wands. Then it's going to be the challenges that uh, you will have to stand against and hopefully overcome here. That is going to be the Empress card. Uh, the fourth one, it represents the blessings and the gifts that you can enjoy throughout the week. Um, furthermore, we do have how other people see you. That being said, you know, how friends, how your friends and family sees you, uh, how your person of interest sees you, how your partner sees you, etc, etc. So that is going to be the uh, page of cups. Then the next one, it represents the long term goals or what is going to help your long term goals into relationship. And that will be the six of pentacles. Then we do have what is going to hurt your long term goals uh, and uh, throughout this week. Or in other words, it could be taken as what we should, what you should restrain yourself of doing. Uh, that is going to be the four of pentacles. And the final one here, which uh, stands as the guidance that Saro is uh, offering to you in regards to love and relationship for throughout the week, that will be the two of wands. All right. So uh, the first couple of cards here, uh, which are the um, topic and the energy which is supporting the topic. Well, it looks like that this is going to be quite sort of a, um, a flourishing week for you. It is because the Tree of Wands gives uh, the fulfillment of one's expectations when we're talking about relationship. Or in other words, whatever you have planned or whatever you have anticipated for throughout the week in regarding your uh, person of interest, your partner or your relationship and love life in general is going to more or less start becoming true. Now, important thing to be acknowledged here, Capricorn, is that the Tree of Wands gives you a very good foundation. Let's say a solid or proven patterns uh, that one can step on them, All right? So the way that, I, uh, that I, I'm taking that, it is like a confirm, confirmation, acknowledgement, um, <clears throat> Or um, yeah, it's it's again confirmation that you are in uh, that someone is into you or uh, kind of like approval as well, etc., etc. So it's kind of like a green light for you about a certain endeavor in regards to a uh, relationship and love. Important thing, however, with the three of wands is that one kind of like um, tries to exceed one's capabilities or try to step outside a little bit of a com of the comfort zone that um, one is standing into okay so that being said three of wands gives you the prerequisite here throughout the week to do something even bigger than what you have anticipated although you know you may be satisfied with just what you have been anticipating up until now now the three the the eight of wands here as the energies that is feeding up the situation it points to the numerous opportunities one is gonna have to manifest uh, one's uh, plans, goals, you know, and um, in general, uh, one's ideas in regards to love or relationship. Just to give you an example of it, guys, should you be seeking for love, then the energies that are supporting the topic for you are going to be like you are going to have many opportunities to meet new people and from there um, to, how can I say it, you know, to have multiple people of interest based on the tree of one uh, of the tree of ones where you're going to be quite liked as an individual so quite sort of a um, 
a good combo here it is what we do have as a starter for you capricorn for that week to really start in an explosive go into the new year entering into the new year and uh, with those two cards i wouldn't sit on my butt but rather start performing you know and, and start kind of like manifesting my my goals and ideas in regards to uh, love and relationship now the other card which is uh what is going uh what what are going to be the challenges okay so what will be the thing that you have to overcome. Now, the Empress sits in a couple of ways and it does depend what kind of a situation you are in. Now, one of the ways it is that to take the things seriously. That will be somewhat a, a challenge for you to do. The other way how we can interpret this card in that narrative is to make a decision well-founded decision. Now, when we're talking about the Empress, uh, one uh, and we're talking about decision making. One always needs to um, kind of scale the pros and the cons for the people around how that decision is going to impact those people. And ultimately, at the end of the day, one has to take a rather balanced and mature one decision instead of selfish and immature one. But also, the Empress here as a challenge points that we cannot, or you Capricorn, cannot have at all. And ultimately, one is going to lead to the sacrifice of the other. What I'm trying to say here is that you are going to reap what you have sown, either bitter or sweet. And for that reason, uh, you can't strive um, wanting love here throughout the relationship, uh, throughout this week. Or wanting to improve your circumstances love wise through all this throughout this week you have to do something about it and that will has its own consequences but doing nothing also serve as a consequence for you that is so for that reason capricorns uh, it will be very important here as the plans or your anticipations are now starting to manifest themselves to also act upon those openings and those, um, you know, opportunities. So the other card here, which, uh, one second guys, to get control back on my camera, nice. So the other card here represents the gifts and the blessings. And there is not much to be said about the Five of Cups in this particular position, as this narrative, it does points that, uh, certain worries and uh, <clears throat> aspects of your love life that makes you that made you feel anxious and worried and kind of like uh, hectic as well are going to prove themselves to be just trifles so uh, it's you can expect throughout the week many of your concerns in regards to love and relationship to simply vanish so the other card uh, that we do have it is how people see you, how your friends and family sees you, how your partner sees you, um, you know, person of interest as well. And that is quite interesting card here. Now the Page of Cups kind of points to someone who is emotionally attached. So people will have no doubt whatsoever into your intentions and as well into your feelings should you display or kind of like a... Um, act upon those feelings. Now, additionally to that as well, people are going to see you as a, someone who, is, who have turned um, its glance toward the future rather than looking toward the past or rather than looking toward the, um, the minor details and the plights that can easily be overcome. That comes as well from the um, from the gifts and the blessings where you are to realize that, you know, these things you are worrying over are there just, you know, they, they, they either going to be resolved on their own accord or they have no impact whatsoever upon the situation that you're striving toward. Therefore, people were going to kind of like take you and see you as a, a person who is, uh, who is preparing oneself for a big change moving on uh, that it is looming on the horizon one way or the other. Uh, the other card here stands as a what you should do to help your long-term goal, relationship and love wise. You know, long-term goal for relationship and love, it's family or it is or stabilizing one's family. This is at least what I am taking as a long-term relationship and love goal. 
So that will be the Six of Pentacles. And Six of Pentacles in a relationship can speak for a couple of things. Now, one of them, it is to try to resolve issues, especially if you are finding yourself in a marriage right now and you are kind of like fighting over pointless and meaningless stuff then uh, as you are going to have the opportunity it will be best to take advantage of it and pretty much you know resolve the disputes resolve the uh, the arguments or slumber those arguments and the other thing that we can say about the six of pentacles it's the hierarchy that being said if you are seeking for love this card is referring that you should seek the love exactly where uh, in your environment in environment environment rather than trying to find it elsewhere okay so if you are for example someone who i don't know well it's kind of like seek it into your cast rather than trying to find it elsewhere i would have given that kind of an, an example you know you uh, are moving into a social circle so uh, people that are listening let's say heavy metal well this is where you are going to have to try to find your love there and uh, the next card represents uh, what is going to hurt your long-term goal there is only one way we can look at that card and this is pretty much inactivity and that kind of uh, that speaks a lot uh, looking at the previous cards now this uh, week it looks like the two Capricorn are gonna have all the prerequisites you require you know, uh, in order to sort your things out in regards to career, in, uh, in regards to love and relationship, excuse me. And it's going to be pretty shame if you don't do anything about it, if you don't push yourself a little bit. And the Four of Pentacles ex uh, represents exactly that, pushing oneself a little bit, stepping outside of one's comfort zone, because the Four of Pentacles, otherwise it is taking defensive measures and uh, are trying to ensure one secure future, especially in relationship. And it looks like that you gotta risk a little bit. Having the Eight of Wands into the energy that are supporting, that is important because the Eight of Wands, it's high risk, high reward kind of card, but as this is supporting energy, then the risk, it's no longer there. And therefore you got to, you gotta risk it, okay? Whatever you anticipate to do and you are afraid of doing it, you, you got to risk it throughout this uh, throughout this week. And the final one here represents the guidance the Tarot is offering. That is to be the two of ones. Uh, love and relationship wise, two of ones it is where one takes the control, one takes the steed, one demands, one displays. Okay, so the way I see it here, um, this week is going to be a, a mandatory for you to kind of lay certain foundations. Because if that was my reading, Capricorns, I would have taken this reading as that is the week where I shape the, the face of my future love, relationship, current marriage, current relationship. Okay, this is the week where you have to display, demand, talk about it and in generally yeah show to the person of your interest or to your lover or a wife or a husband what you want how you want it and how far you're willing to go with it so that being said capricorn this was your weekly love and relationship reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh in case you are interested in a private reading with me you can check out the link that it is um, posted in the description down below and there you're going to find my website of course and from it you know you can schedule a reading or just get in touch with me and that being said we're going to see each other next time until then bye